I'm a third year grad student studying in the University of Edinburgh, Scotland. In this vlog, I'm going to answer a few commonly asked questions and make it like a little fun veterinary student Mythbuster thing. So let's get started! First question, is a veterinary cause really intense? I wouldn't say veterinary medicine is an easy course because there is so much content that we have to cover in these five years. Animal physiology can be really complicated and it does take some time to learn thoroughly about them. However, the course in the University of Edinburgh is designed in a way so that the content won't be too overwhelming for us. I mean, uni is a really big chain from high school and we're all from different places and have different levels of knowledge. In first and second year, um, we were mainly taught about uh, the basics or the fundamentals of veterinary medicine, which is histology, biology, and also some physiology before we go on to learn about what can go wrong in these different systems and learn how to treat them. In this way, it kind of builds our knowledge in like a really old orderly and a slow manner so that we won't get too overwhelmed by these content. Second question, do you study all the time? And um, what is a typical week of a vet student like? Obviously during COVID times, things are a bit different and we don't go back to vet school every day like we used to. But I can tell you guys how it's like for me back in first year, which is a more accurate representation of how vet school is like. Also, I don't study all the time. So let me tell you guys how it's like for me in first year. So let's say on Monday, we'll have two or three lectures on canine anatomy. Then maybe on Tuesday, we have lectures on cell biology, which we learn about the weird and wonderful things about cells. Then on Wednesday morning, we may have lectures on histology, which we learn about how different cells organize themselves. Then we usually have our Wednesday afternoons off where we have a bit of free time for extracurricular activities or take a walk outside. Thursday may be an anatomy practical. It may be a dissection on the body part that we learned on Monday, or it may be a section where we look at different models and specimens. Then Friday, it may be a lab section about the histology lecture that we had on Wednesday. As you can see, the practicals that we have during the week usually follow up the lectures that we've had, and this really helps my learning a lot. For weekends, I usually study for a bit and make sure that I understand the week's content. Then I may go hang out with friends, go explore the city, or join different society events. Third question, why did I choose Edinburgh? Firstly, I really like how hands-on this course is. Back in my pre-clinical years, which are the first and second years, we have to learn a lot about how to safely and confidently move animals and handle them. And our vet school has our own teaching animals. We have our own teaching horses, we have our own teaching exotic animals such as budgies and snakes, and we do a lot of handling practicals with them. And these practicals really build my confidence up and get us prepared for the placements that we're gonna do during our holidays. Secondly, it is because I really like the city. I think in Edinburgh, people in general are quite chill and have a slower pace of life and they're quite warm and welcoming as well. There are also a lot of green spaces for us to enjoy the sun or to hang out with friends such as the meadows. And there's also so many to explore in Edinburgh, like the Dean Village, Edinburgh Castle, etc, etc. And it's also very convenient to go all around the city because there are a lot of buses running around it. I hope this video has answered a few questions that you guys might have and hopefully you have also enjoyed this video. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!